Hey guys, it's Ellen and welcome to my channel. You know what we're working on today? Hmm, abstracts. Yes, we're having fun. We're having fun playing because it's just something fun to do and something different to try. And we're trying an abstract watercolor using a different tool today. Palette knives <laughs> and paintbrushes, but palette knives. You know, it's fun to play around with different tools with your mediums. Um, get you out of your comfort zone makes you think of things differently, you play around with more, things more, and that just helps you grow as an artist. So we're going to talk about using the palette knife and playing with the palette knife with watercolor. I know it seems kind of crazy, but yes, we're going to do that. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't hit that bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please subscribe. Come on over and subscribe. We have a lot of fun over on this channel. Also check out my Patreon, I have ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, and a live stream on the third Saturday of the month from the top tier. You can see the little icon, the little eye icon right here, and just click on that and it leads right to the Patreon. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So we're going to have fun today, going get, to get us out of the stress free life and just enjoy watercolor, playing with it, playing with color, and creating something fun in the process. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's go over supplies for this one. 9 by 12 piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I taped down with some scotch magic tape just on thick cardboard so we can lift it up and play around with it. You can put it on a harder surface, whatever you got. I'm using my enamel tin. I just got one of these things at I think a craft store. I think it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. And of course, I'm using tube paints. And it's, you're going to have to use tube paints for this particular tutorial because uh, the pan paint's not going to work. Paper towel here or towel, whatever you have, water jar here. And I have two fun palette knives. Who ever thought to do something with palette knives? Actually, there's a YouTuber here, Karen Rice. I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with her. She did a couple of these and I figured I want to try it. I do palette knife acrylic painting, so let's try watercolor and abstract. So yeah, let's play around with this like I would an acrylic painting and see what happens. Only I will be using my spray bottle also. And I will be using um, some like flat wash brush and maybe my number 12, just some other, there's a 10, but um, some of my flat wash craft brush and like some other smaller brushes to just play around with if we're gonna put in flowers or leaves or whatever. Let's just have some fun playing, okay? So let's, I mean, we can start off doing some grass. So I have my, this color is cadmium green deep. Mix it with the yellow. Just like I would, I'm, I'm using like, I could use a smaller, this is a small version. You can get these anywhere um, online. I get it at, I think, Dick Blick or something. And I'm just gonna scrape it, the watercolor. I'm gonna start off with the paint first. I know this is kind of nuts, right? Straight color, but why not? Let's play around with this. And we're going to spray and see what happens. You can get it a little bit wet. So I'm adding a little bit of water here. You can hear that scrape. Get the green. I can add a little of this Prussian blue. Look at that. All right, I'm going to have to clean off my palette here. And I'm going to play around with putting some water with my flat wash brush just in the top here. I'm not going to hit this part yet. This is the play day. We play on Wednesdays. I like to play with the abstracts. I don't know. It's just something to do in the middle of the week. It kind of gone like, is this week over yet? <laughs> is this something to get you loose? Okay. So I'm just doing that. I'm grabbing this one. I could use a smaller one too. Grabbing some blues. I might have to loosen them up a little bit with some water. So here we go. I'll loosen this is the uh, ultramarine deep. I'm going to loosen this up with the, the brush and some water. And then I'll grab my palette knife. And I'm just going to play, putting it across like so. I also have this color, Verdier Blue, very pretty color. See when you put that real thick paint on. So let's try a little fun right now. I don't know what's going to happen. And that's the beauty of it. 
what will happen if we spray it? We go a little nuts, holding it on a 45 degree angle. Let's get that and just spray it down. So we put the palette knife down, I sprayed it. <laughs> what is happening? Right? We can take the palette knife and push it around. I just wanted to experiment using different tools with watercolor and not knowing how the outcome's going to be. You are kind of scraping the page a little bit, but then some of those marks are kind of fun. So I'm moving the paint around by holding it up like this on its side, like this. Then we got some scrape marks from the uh, palette knife. If you want to remove some paint, you can take your trusty old brush. See, I can remove some paint. This is going to give you an expression. So now I've got it really close to this colors that we put here, right? I got some green up here. I'm really just kind of playing, guys, and twisting my brush around. Look at all those scrapey kind of movements. It's kind of an angry sky. What would happen if we took some of the paper towel and lifted it? Make it look like there's clouds. Just giving more of an expression. See those little scrape lines? Now, let's see what we do when we spray these ones. I'm really spraying a lot. Just really kind of cool, right? Get in there and spray it. Just going straight down with this one. Spraying the bottom. Let it all drip. Let it all hang out. <laughs> Lift up some of that paint that's dripped down. Again, if you want to like help move it around, you can put some water down here. And it will drip down even more. At this point, you can go back and take your little palette knife. Grab some of these colors, kind of put them in again. How about I just grab some yellow, go back over in here. See, I'm going to grab some of the blue. Just, just fun to play. And this one's really thick, that paint right there. Just making these little lines to go across. Right? I'll clean up my little palette and I'll grab some yellow. It's kind of slightly, you hear that kind of scrape? It's going down like that. I really like that. Oops, and I'll get my spray bottle again. Drip, drip, drip. You want to put this on a surface that's going to be like, you know, if you put a towel down or something, it's not going to ruin your table. Grab that. Just like how this is kind of creating these weird, you know, at this point you can go in and add, let's see, I have some burnt umber. It's not, I don't have much in my tube, but I could also make brown. You know, I've got some magenta here. I can add that green. Oh, it's almost black. Forget about brown. Yeah. Maybe add some yellow to that. That's kind of a greenish brown. <laughs> yeah. Build it up to that. There we go. Add a little more red. Add a little more yellow. And then we've got more red. And then the green. And get that brown. Kind of how you play with the colors there. It's still wet. I'm just kind of taking this little teeny palette knife. Just kind of going across in some areas with that brown. Grab some of that magenta too. 
kind of fleck it in some colors. You know what would be really pretty is the uh, cadmium red light. If I can find it, it's hiding. <laughs> I had it a few minutes ago. Of course, when you need something, it's not there. Okay, well, we'll move on. <laughs> Grab some more yellow. And then you can make some little marks like you're going to make grass. Just play around with that. Scrape down like this, up. I'm gonna get this wet again. Tapping in the water. Almost like you're doing, like you see the pictures I do with my acrylics. I'm doing these little scrape marks with the paint. Just gets a little wild and loose, right? Palette knife, who thought to paint watercolor with palette knife? Well, many people have. See, little scrapes. Kind of push them down, play around with that. It's creating those scraping lines as well as putting some of the paint in. I'm gonna add some blue, some ultimate blue up in here. Grab some of that yellow. So it could be like trees. Really laying on the paint a little thick here. Now, obviously, you might not want to waste your paint this way, but if you have blobs and you finished a painting and you don't know what to do with it and you want to play around, this is something I suggest you try. See the paint? You just kind of go move it around like this and you get like trees and you add a little deeper color here, just on the tip. It's just kind of wild. <laughs> it's fun to play. Okay, so again, I'm mixing it. And you need a flat surface, by the way. And I'll go back in here and I'll add, see I'm just scraping that. I'm just kind of just pushing down and having that paint kind of fold down. And wherever it goes, it wants to go. Holding it on the side, kind of scraping the paint in, little lines like grass. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to spray again and see what we've got. Okay. Got lots of movement going to happen now. Oh, yeah. Just kind of playing around, moving this, getting the energy to move, that's how I look at it. Just moving that energy field that we just painted. Just really spraying it. Just look how cool that looks. I don't know, I just really love it. <laughs> it's very freeing, it's kind of a mess. The result is kind of cool, right? You get all these like little bits of like real pigment in here non-pigment there. You could flip it back over here to spray the blue part. Let's see what happens. Let me get this blue up here. Let's get a little different up here. We're creating an abstract. It doesn't have to look like something so serious. I'm liking this. I'm moving this with paper towel a little bit. Let's see what we got. Ooh, kind of cool, right? I created some kind of yellow streak back in here. I'm gonna remove that. Some paper towel on my hand. Kind of shorten the little streaks too here, just by tapping it. See, I'm just tapping it slightly. Now, I just, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Let's see how I just take some of this paint away. Just slightly tapping some of this. I'm just loving the mysterious quality of that. You know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> the repelling of the inks. I mean, you could use gold. You can use, I have this, uh, I have burnt umber. It might look a little dark. I have the white, but the white's gotten so thick. Let's see what the white will do. 
my white acrylic ink has gotten really kind of crazy thick because it was so it might not do what I need it to do it's not loose enough maybe add a little bit of water to it let's see it will repel on the paper and create that see that's a blob yeah it's too thick I can try and water it down if you have yours like straight out it won't be that thick and so I'm not splattering just a splatter but it creates those bleeds that are kind of pretty which I love and some of them just complete white dots and that's gonna happen so you know you just pick up your little paper towel that one was really thick hopefully yours is not as thick as mine and you won't create this big old blobs so if that's a little mistake because <laughs> it looks like little dots we'll just pick that up kind of push the paint around and then go back over with paint see I'm just removing it with the paper towel kind of looks not bad but even just removing it kind of it will dry lighter even still so you won't even notice it but I love how this like mysterious quality now it's somewhat still very damp if you can scrape it scrape the trees and you know what I'm talking about when you do the credit card it's so wet it's just gonna fold right back in you have to wait till it's damp like you see it's just folded right back into the into the paper towel excuse me into the credit card <laughs> it will do the same thing with this you can try and do the same thing like scraping and moving the paint I'm loving the mysterious quality of this something cool about it I don't know you might want to let it dry a little bit you can throw some salt in there um, my acrylic ink was too thick to do that little splatter movement you could do the gouache now at this point you can let it sit and dry and start to go in with a smaller brush because remember we're playing around with brushes and the the palette knife I mean you don't even need to do the palette knife if you want the palette knife but it's just fun to play it's fun to play take the like the bigger one let's mix up some of this light green see I'm scraping here holding it on its side see this side and you just get these little grasses this was still damp. You're pulling the color down. It's just really kind of cool, right? Scrape that in there. Just really love the expression of that. Little ones here. It's kind of how I love to paint my acrylics. Similar kind of technique. Let's see where my arm goes. Just creating these fun blue color go all the way up and then from there if you want to put in some blooms on these little grasses it's just something I like to play around with still using the palette knife just kind of creating these grasses you know use paints using the palette knife Getting a light yellow green here. Just like that. It needs to be a little wet. It's too dry to move. Just little scrapes. Again. See? that just kind of funky and fun all right so I'm going to let this dry and we can come back in and do some more stuff okay so now that I let it dry see how kind of cool and mysterious and got those scraping lines whatnot I found my red paint <laughs> it was hiding behind my other paint so I have my Princeton eight long round because this is a combination of the palette knife and and you can go back in and Take your paints. Don't waste a thing. Keep the colors. See, grab some yellow. 
make it really light green. We kind of flick up some more grasses in certain areas. I'm just making this movement, see, back and forth. I kind of, kind of concentrate in certain areas. It's just really simple. Flick, 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 flick. You're flicking the brush up and down like that, right? You can create some deeper tones with your greens and blues. Make a little small ones back here. Maybe add a little, add this Prussian blue here and that nasty brown that we mixed up. Nothing goes to waste. Don't waste a thing. Make these little marks here. Same thing, same movement. Go ahead and swing up this way. Just get real expressive when you're painting and the movement helps. See, here's this Prussian blue. I'm just kind of throwing that in and really just kind of pushing the paint up kind of over this way, right? Now, I found that red, which I thought was great. Let me loosen that up a little bit. This is like butter consistency, right? Uh, butter, minimal water, cream, a little bit more water, milk, more water, coffee, a little more water, and tea, even more water. So, you know, you know the consistency of those particular liquids. And of course, butter is more of a solid but it could be soft and you move it. So now I've got it in a heavy cream kind of format. Just do little taps. You do little taps of little flowers. See, little tippy taps. You could do some bigger ones that kind of push down if you want it to look like a poppy. Little teeny ones in the front. And over here, I chose this red because it's pretty. I've done quite a few tutorials with this color and this kind of color palette, as you noticed. You know, sometimes you find yourself gearing towards like, I'm oh, not gearing, excuse me, just kind of gravitating towards colors. And that happens often. So then you have to push yourself out of that comfort zone. So I will. I'm going to add some other colors. Now I had that birdie blue there, which I love. It's such a pretty color. And I can put some of that in here, which I did with the Monet abstract. And if I have the magenta here, I can mix it and make purple. So make some nice purple. So you mix the two. It's kind of like butter. A little more blue. Even more so. So it's a little butter. Now it's like heavy cream. And I'm just going to, again, I'll add the purple. Play around with adding colors. You can lighten it up by adding some white gouache. There's white gouache right next to it. Now, white gua the gouache is water. This is um, water soluble, unlike acrylic gouache. So you can put some water on it and activate it. And look how much lighter that purple got. And you can add all that fun in here. Now, you could also use palette and I have to do it too. Just tap in color. See? And become a little more haphazard. And if you hold it on its side, create all these little kind of little doodads. And I can mix the ultramarine blue into this purple. Change the color even still. Oh yes, I like this purple. I just kind of make little taps. Now this is kind of fun. You can make it look like little, almost like delphiniums this way. See how I tapped on each side of the little stick and upward? Just little teeny taps on this one, like delicate little taps. So they're kind of flowers, but they're so tiny. Just have fun mixing the flowers. I love this purple now. So now I'm going to see myself gravitating towards doing some purple flowers all throughout here. This little abstract field. And I'll just keep tapping the brush haphazardly. So I'm pushing it down further. See how I pushed it down on the bottom here? Thicker. And I'll go grab some of the ultramarine blue right on my brush. I'm not going to clean it. And I'll go back in here too. Do this, all these little tip taps. 
this is where the magic happens on all the little tippy taps. You can go in and add white, a little more, like I say, I'm going to add a little more gouache kind of tone to the purple, and it will highlight in the darker area, see? You'll see it more. So this crazy kind of palette knife abstract combo. So it's a palette knife and a brush. You probably didn't even need to do palette knife, but I loved the scrapes you can and the the lines you get from it. It kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone. And then see, I've added that white gouache. So this is very dark. I'm just kind of tapping in the lighter purple tone. And even more so, I can add even more white to it to highlight it even more so. Just in that one little area. If I grab some white gouache, let me see if I can. I can never find things when I'm talking to people. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so I'll just grab the white gouache. Where are the two? If it wants to cooperate, here we go. <laughs> I like to do my videos in real time. And I'll put in the tip of my brush. And I'll kind of highlight just the right side. So the sun can kind of come and come from the right side. You see that? Because it's dark in here. And this one. And this green blue area. You put the little white purple flowers. And it gets highlighted. It's just something to do, guys. I think something like this is such a great thing to do when you're stressed out. I know people are really feeling it right now. I have people I know just kind of like really breaking down. It just, it's very heavy. So my job here is to try and make your day a little bit lighter. So here we go, just tapping in. See, just tap, you just keep doing this until you feel that you've done enough with the flowers. You don't even have to do flowers. You can just sit here and do a lot of grasses. And make the watercolor here. Again, more grasses, more of like a wheat type of field. I'm gonna put some dark tones in here. You can kind of every now and then, like in some of these, put in some leaves. So I'll take the brush. Just kind of push around on the stems, little leaves after we made them. And I'm see I'm just grabbing, I love this all this mess in here. It's just grabbing all the different colors, not separating them, and grabbing the blue with the green. Just kind of pushing it down along these little stems for leaves. This is how you make a very kind of loose, fun, little atmospheric, right? With these this one's kind of feel like it's missing the stems. I'll just put them in. A little kind of mysterious and then add some pretty leaves to this. Just kind of wiggling. See, I'm just kind of wiggling the brush and pushing down on it. Really simple. And I'll just keep playing with this until I feel I feel like it's done, you know? I'll go in and add some more bright yellow. Kind of right out of the tube almost, the butter consistency. And these little scrapes up here, you can add some little leaves just sticking off the little branches. It's a delicate little, just push down on your brush right next to this branch and this one. You want a little bit darker if it's in the lighter area and the opposite if it's in the dark area. So make it yellow or add a little white to it. So you won't be able to see the little leaves. I'm adding a little Prussian blue. And just I'm not really doing much. I'm just kind of pushing down and wiggling right next to those little stakes that I scraped. It's kind of how I create this crazy haphazard field. You know, I'll go back in and get some more bright yellow green. I'm kind of, again, kind of wiggling and pushing around and just kind of adding color. It's just all about play. And then I might go in here and just put in some nice little leaves. Same thing back here. Again, all about the play. 
it's supposed to be fun not stressful and you can still <laughs> you get all those in there you can spray it one more time just to have it bleed and see what all the mysterious happenings will happen with this oh beautiful now that is kind of cool I really just wanted to make it a little more fun. And now it's really dripping, but look at all that fun that we created. Just love that bleed. Just something about it. Some people might not like it. You could have stopped and not done it. But I, you know, you know me. I like that little, just like that little touch. Yeah, and I think now that I'm done, I've created what I've wanted to do. Yep. So I'm going to dry this and then we'll take the tape off. Okay, before I take the tape off, I added some more little red dots like for flowers up here. I'm going to take some concentrated yellow without any green next to it. <laughs> and just go in here and play around with adding some yellow down in this section. So it was looking too much like a line and you don't want to do that. You want, to, you want your eye to move around. So I'm trying to pull it upwards by adding some red up this way and maybe a little bit yellow. So I'm gonna add a little bit kind of concentrated yellow with this stem up here. You see that? Just right out of the tube. So your eyes kind of going up this way a little more with the yellow and up in here. And then just felt like there was something lacking in the middle here. I'm just adding a little, just kind of brushing down some yellow. But other than that, I think I'm done. So I'll remove the tape, which is the fun part. And we have our fun, kind of wild and crazy spring abstract field. Playing around with using a palette knife. Why not? Guys, you don't have to use a palette knife if you don't want to. But I thought it was fun. Like, try practicing going like this. If you see them in my acrylic channels and like this, just on the side, you can kind of make these cool scrapes that are just more natural and different than having a paintbrush. And they create, this, they create these nice, fun, scrapey lines, which I loved in here. You know, you can kind of see them. Just something different to try. So if you have any questions, please in the comment section. Tell me what your thoughts are on this. Tell me if you're having trouble with abstract. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. I know for some people, it's they hate it. Some people love it. So I'd like to hear any opinion you have on it and what maybe things you'd like to try in the future. So um, yeah, and please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, come to my channel and subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys, take care and have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.